Hi everybody, this is David Lally at the Partnership for Research and Education and Plans, and today I'm going to talk to you about how to make observations on your Rapidopsis plants. Now I'll make another video for collecting data later, but right now I just want you to focus on looking at your plants, and I'm going to show you three pairwise comparisons you can make that are very useful. The first one, I have these two pots of plants lined up here. No matter which experiment you're doing, you're going to have these two pots. On this side are the wild type plants, and on this side are the mutant plants. Now it doesn't matter if you have a gene knockout where the gene has been disabled, or it doesn't matter if a gene has been added to the plant, you're doing a genetics experiment. And we're trying to understand something about a gene and its effect on the plant, what function it plays in the plant. So everyone will have these sets of plants, and this is where I'm going to start. In each of these pairwise comparisons, you're going to ask the same question. Is there any difference between the plants in the two pots? And I want you to take notes of your observations, because when you do collect data, then those notes will provide a context for what those data mean. So this is going to make it much easier at the end of your experiment to analyze your data because you'll have gone back and looked at your notes and say, oh yeah, I thought the plants looked shorter and here's my data to back up that observation. When I compare these two pots of plants, I'm asking the question, what's the effect of disabling that gene? That's my primary independent variable is that genetic alteration. So I want to see what the effect of it is. Now, for those of you who are just growing two pots of plants, that's your only observation. Those of you who are growing another set of mutant wild type plants under conditions that you've changed the growing environment of the plants, I want to show you how to make two more observations. Now, in this observation, I have two pots of wild type plants. This one here has been grown under the control conditions where I've created everything good for the plant. And this one over here is the plant that has been grown under the experimental growth conditions where we have changed something in its environment. And the reason I'm making this comparison is I'm asking the question, what's the effect on wild type plants of altering the plant's environment? In my last comparison, I'm going to swap that wild type control plant out and bring in the experimental mutant plant. So now I have wild type and mutant plants that have been grown under my altered growth conditions. And the question I want to ask in this comparison is, does the mutant plant respond differently than the wild type to those altered uh, environmental conditions? I said to take notes, and the things you want to look for are differences in size, in color, in texture, in number of parts, missing parts, angle of the plants. All of those things are important, but also things that are harder to describe, such as the mutant plants look you know, less healthy under the experimental growth conditions. These observations, these comments that you write down later on will help you to draw conclusions in your experiment when you write up your report. So there you have it. Three comparisons. In each case you're asking, what's the difference between the plants in the two pots that you're looking at? And you're looking at first, your genetic variable by itself. Second, you're looking at the environmental variable by itself. And third, you're looking at the two independent variables together. So when you take those notes, later on, when you're looking at all that data, your observations will help you to draw better conclusions. So good luck.